I don't think there's ever been a game I've ever played that it feels so much like the game was, was made for me so much as this game. This is Max Payne 3. I've gone through the game. Uh, first of all, I've, pl I've done this guide before on Hardcore, so I won't be playing on that difficulty. I will be playing on this difficulty, though. And this may be a non-restorative item run. I'm not sure about that yet. I think I might try that because this is the same uh, the damage you receive is the same from what I'm seeing I just I just finished this game uh, I think it's the same as hard but you don't get a, a down a, you know the second chance you don't get any second chances so you're always gonna have to be using the painkillers which are the restorative items in this game and since the damage is not a, as much as it is on hardcore I might just not use the the, the medicine but I will be getting all of the clues in the chapter. There's a doctor we'll see later in the game. This game is mesmerizing. Like the the gameplay is so solid and tight and mechanically satisfying, and, and the music, man, the this the music is so good and it's mature. It's got that level of maturity where it's it's doing exactly what it wants to. It's taking no prisoners, so to speak, and it's just. It's a blast to play, and it's it's so rewarding and, and thrilling, and it's just satisfying too. It's so satisfying. But uh, these guys here, you are gonna get one, at least one guy rushing you, and be very careful of of uh, doing hand to hand combat with the guy with the shotgun. I did it because I was trying to see if it would let you, and most of the time, it's just going to he's just gonna shoot you and you're dead, and there's no getting revived on this difficulty. So. Which is harder, hardcore, or this difficulty? You know, it's just it's a subjective opinion. You know, there's no there's no uh, definitive answer about that. But this this is what they do usually. They'll they'll usually throw like one guy, one or two guys at the end of a, a wave. And what I'm doing here is I'm holding down the A button to to do the slow motion there. And you could actually pump more rounds into the guy if you want to by uh, by continually pulling the trigger. So I think I've said most of the, what I'm going to be saying. Did I say I'll be I'll be getting all the clues on the chapter? So if you need the clues, I'll be I'll be getting those. But I don't think that I've ever played a game as well that it speaks to me and like it's it's exactly what I want and it, it's it's something that I know I'll probably never ever get again because if you know people just want open world. I don't want. I want closed world. I want third-person cameras perspectives like this, and I want cover-based shooting. And and even though this really isn't the type of game where you want to go and cover if you can avoid it, sometimes it's advisable if you need to turn the camera and, and make you and see a little bit better. But you mainly want to be using the third-person camera trick. And the only mechanic that actually will get in your way is just the way that if you if you shove up against walls or doors. Uh, Max will. Uh, you, the, there's the second clue, by the way. Max will raise his gun, and you'll just fire into the ceiling or into the sky, or if you're outside or if it's inside. But you don't get healed on on this game, so it makes a non-restorative item run kind of difficult. But I haven't done it all, so I I don't know if I will be doing it, but I believe I will. And you just take a game like this for granted. I did. And I don't think that the only game that I know of that might even be closed world is Quantum Break. And it just makes me really sad that not only are they not making games anymore, but they're not making, they're certainly not making anything like this. They're making narrative experiences. They're making, you know, there is a third person game coming out, but it's, it's, it's called, uh, what's it called? That, uh, Mad Max. Mad Max, but it's it looks like trash. It looks like utter fucking trash, man. Fucking trash. A game like this just puts that game to shame, probably. So, uh, to end on that kind of sour note, I'm sorry about that. I I just I really love this game, and I I hate games that don't do what I want. And this game does everything that I want and more. Take care.